Hey y'all, welcome back to Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and today we're gonna to be drawing one of my most favorite animals to draw. We're gonna be drawing the, oh, you thought I was gonna tell you. All right, so three hints to figure out what the animal this is. You ready? Okay. First hint, there's a lot of these in Texas. Second hint, they have a hard armored shell on the outside. That might have given away too much. And the third one, they're really, really good diggers. Did you figure it out? All right, we're drawing an armadillo. One of my, I don't know why it's one of my favorite things to draw, but I did live in Texas for a little bit and we had an armadillo that lived out in our yard. It would dig holes all over the place, which kind of caused a problem, but it was so cute, we let it happen. He'd also hide in our hose container where we kept our hose wrapped up for our yard. You just kind of nuzzle up inside there and it was super cute. Got a little surprise inside of our hose container. Ta-da! Armadillo. Little armadillo friend. But I love armadillos. For some reason, they're a lot of fun to draw. They have some really cool shapes. And uh, hopefully you're excited to draw with me. Are you guys excited? Awesome! Okay, let's get going. Except for, oh wait, first, make sure these classes are Monday through Friday every single week. So make sure you hit subscribe so that you know when we have our next video and you don't miss any. Okay, enough about that. Let's go right into our drawing, but we need to make sure we have everything we need before we get drawing. We need to get a nice clean sheet of paper out. Make sure you have a pencil that's sharpened. And if you don't have any eraser on the back of it, make sure you have an eraser. This one is uh, one of those stretchy ones that gets you really distracted and you're really just like playing with it and lose track of time. Okay, get rid of that. And then you gotta grab a pen or marker or something dark that we can do our outlines with. And at the very end, I got my pile of markers that I can color. So if you have crayons or colored pencils or whatever else, that's perfectly fine too. All right, let's get started with our sketching. We always start with the sketch so we know where our armadillo or our drawing is gonna live on our page. And so we have something to kind of give us a guideline for when we drop our final marker because we can't erase that. We're gonna start like we start a lot of the times with a big oval. <laughs> I know, I keep doing this. There's big ovals in everything I draw. Okay, they're gonna start right here. Make sure the oval stays more on this side than this side because his head's gonna live over here. Okay, so we're gonna draw a little oval here. Bring that around. Okay. And before we go on, I think I have enough room over here. We're gonna turn his little body into a beam. <laughs> any kind of bean you like. So let's do, we're gonna do one little thing right here. So we're gonna see this is the middle. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna follow this line, and then I'm gonna go up, and I'm gonna curve it back down over here. You see that? I'll erase this so that you can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna erase this on the outside. You see the little bean shape? It looks like a little, uh, like a little lima bean. I don't know if you guys like lima beans. I like lima beans. Maybe a black bean. <laughs> but he got a little bean shape right here. And that's important because that's how their body's shaped. All right, so then we want to draw maybe a little circle for his head. Remember, try to draw light as you can with, it, with being able to still see it because you want to be able to erase this stuff later. I always draw way too hard. So I'm being a bad example. I draw a little too hard. And then <clears throat> once we draw the circle, if you're having a hard time drawing circles, remember you can always use like a glue, like a glue pen, you know, it's circle on the top. You can trace it or you can use, if you need something bigger, you can use like a cup or something like that. And then out here, I'm gonna make his nose, his mouth is, well I guess his mouth and his head are both kind of long. Let's do like a straight line from here. Let's do that first and then we'll kind of curve it back right there. The nose is long because they're they're related to ant eaters. So they have long tongues and they're sticky long tongues. Do you know what an ant eater is? They stick those long tongues in the ground and pick out all the all the ants and bugs. They're pretty cool looking if you haven't seen one. Maybe we'll draw one of those next. All right, so then we have a little curve right here. It's not going to go straight. We're going to give it a little bit of a curve so it looks like the long the nose is a little bit longer. Okay, and if we can come back and make this even even longer if we want. And we can change all this thing. We can even make this thing not so high. You can always change that either right now or um, you can go in and do that with your pen or your marker later. I like to try to clean up as much as I can before I keep moving on because I don't wanna, that'll make my life easier later. 
Okay, so I got his ears. They got, they got these cool big ears over here that look like kind of like the, a leaf shape. Like that. Nice big ear. You might want to put a couple ears in there. You can kind of put another one like right here if you want. I don't know if I'll do that. I'll put it out there for you. <laughs> I'll draw it really lightly. If you want to draw two ears, you can. If you want to draw one ear, that's perfectly fine too. Okay, now we have to go on this side and give him a, his tail. They got really cool striped tails. If you actually look really close at an armadillo, go have your parents help you look up a picture of an armadillo and look really closely. They have really fun patterns in their tails. It's like a zigzag pattern. Maybe that's why I like them, because they already got, they naturally have patterns <laughs> on their body, which is really, really neat. Okay, so we're gonna start thicker in the back. That means it's gonna be wider, bigger in the back. And we're gonna make it get a little bit smaller as we get closer to the tip of the tail. But not a ton, because they kind of got thicker tails. Okay. There we go. And we can make it a little bit thicker if we want later. And then we got to give them some little feet. We'll do like almost little triangles. Like that. We'll do another one over here. Another one right over here. They got cute little feet. Okay, and then we'll give them at the bottoms of their feet. We'll just make something really simple like, like this. They kind of got toes and claws because they dig with them. So if you want to add little toes or claws on there, you can totally do that. That might be kind of cool. I want to see what that looks like. But right now I'm just going to give them little simple feet that we can, we can add little lines to or something like that. So you get the idea that there's toes there. Okay, I think... That's pretty good. Okay, we should probably add where their eyes gonna be. You should also name your armadillo. What's your armadillo's name? Maybe at the end it'll come to you. You'll be able to see it all finished and the name will just pop up. I don't know what mine's gonna be named. Maybe Army. Army the armadillo. Okay, now we're gonna add that little shield on top of their head. They got a little bit of protection on top of their head. So let's start right about here. We want to make this go an up and over the eye. So it could just go right around the eyeball. Don't touch the eye. Just do like a little wave right over the eye. And then have it come up here. It doesn't have to, doesn't go to the tip. It just goes right up to here. Does that make sense? So eyes set a little bit further back. And we'll let them, let's make them looking right at us. Make them looking right at us. Mm, maybe it's Annie the armadillo. I feel like it's a girl actually. I don't know. I think it's a girl. I think it's Annie the Armadillo. <laughs> okay, we're going to add a little smile. We're going to give her a little smile now. Let's do a little, they got this little tiny mouth. Look how tiny that little mouth is and the little nose over there. All right. Okay, now we're going to give them some stripes. Okay, this is why I have, I'm, as I'm drawing it, I'm realizing why I like them so much. They have really fun shapes and they're really fun to color in. But they have like this big part of the body that you can do whatever you want with. Like the llama, when we did all the, it's like a cloud, you can fill it however you want. Same thing here with this armadillo. Okay, so now we're gonna do those little stripes. They have the iconic stripes. It almost looks like an accordion. Do you know what an accordion is? It's like those instruments that you go Okay, I'm not even gonna try to make that noise because it sounds awful. But the actual accordion is actually really cool and it got a little piano on one side. That's what we're gonna be drawing here. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting at. So we draw two lines right over here. You can angle them outwards. And then we're gonna draw some lines. And you know what might actually be helpful for you is if you draw little lines, try to make them equidistant. Ooh, that's a big word. That means they're the same distance between each other. So for example, this line right here is the same as this line. See, they're the same distance apart. So maybe you try to do that. Maybe that would help you out. Let's put a few little lines there. I try to get, you may not get exactly there and that's okay. But we'll draw those little lines there. So let's count how many there are. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're gonna draw five of them right down here but really close together. One, two, three, four, five. And then if you have like a ruler, your ruler would be nice or if you have another piece of paper you can lay it next to it and you can draw a straight line. I'm gonna try to do it just freehand. I mean I am a professional so let's see if I can do this. I'm not feeling so confident in my abilities. I need to be brave. I need to be better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, this isn't so bad. Oh, I'm drawing it too hard though. It's okay. We're going to definitely cover these ones. All right. How, are your lines straight? 
probably straighter than mine. Mine weren't very straight, but that's okay. Okay, so we got his little, looks like a little accordion there. He also looks like a, a I don't know what you guys call him, but we always called them potato bugs growing up. You might also call them roly polies or pill bugs. I don't know what you call them. What do you call them? Anyways, potato bugs, they have like the, you look at the back, it looks very similar to what an armadillo looks like. Okay, and then now you can add maybe, I mean, you could do all sorts of fun things here. If you wanna add some more shapes, you can kind of do like a pattern, like a little zigzag pattern. Oh, that might actually be pretty cool. Should I do that? If I don't, oh man. That looks like a lot of work, I might. Okay, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do the zigzag pattern. I don't know what patterns you guys want to do, but I'm going to do the zigzag pattern. That's the cool thing about these is you can kind of get away with doing anything you want because it already looks like an armadillo. Not too many animals look like this animal. So as long as you get the main parts, like his big body and the fact that he's got these stripes here. Okay, well, we'll think about that. I like the look of that, but maybe it might get too busy. And then the tail, let's give him some stripes on the tail. Okay, we got some stripes on the tail. And then you can add all the dots and things you want. I think right here, the cool part about these is they got lots of circles all over right here. It's like a little lumpy, cool texture on the top of that armored plate. And you can add that after with your colors or you can draw it in now, I'll let you decide. I'm gonna probably wait until I get my colors. So I'm gonna erase just this part right here, just this part right here. And then I'm gonna do that with uh, my markers later. Oh, so, Another cool thing about armadillos is I always thought all armadillos rolled up in a ball and protected themselves. I don't know what you guys have thought, but I always thought they rolled up in a ball and they were like a hard shell all the time. But only one type of armadillo actually does that. I think there's like 21 species or kinds of armadillos and only one of them, the three banded, that means you got three stripes right there that um, does rolls up completely. <laughs> all the rest of them, they dig really, really well so that they don't really have to. They can cover up, but they dig to kind of hide from predators. So are we good? Are we ready to go with the pin? I think we are, I think we're ready to go with the pin. <sighs> this is where we have to commit to our choices or fix the things that we did here, but we have to commit because we're not gonna be able to erase this. So, um, but I kind of like this because it's very satisfying to draw this way. All right, let's go. I like the shape. I think I'm gonna start in the back here. I'm feeling pretty confident about the shape <laughs> overall. Let's see if I can keep that confidence up as I start drawing. Okay, curve in and stop. Don't wanna keep going? Yeah, I do. Okay, so we're gonna erase this other part of the head. So you can just keep going and you can draw your full bean over here. You can just complete the entire bean. Oh. All right. <laughs> it's scary sometimes doing it all without picking up the pen, but sometimes it's easier so you don't get a bunch of lines. Okay, so I got the bean shape for his armored back. Now let's draw his head. I'm going to draw his head, then I can add his ears on top of it. So let's start with the easiest part, maybe the, the line. This is a straight line right till there. And then I'm gonna curve on up, like that. And then over here, I'm just gonna follow my circle that I already drew, follow it down, but then just do a nice little curve right into the nose. Okay, let's draw the eyeball. It's a really important part, the eyeball. I wanna get that right. Okay. And then we'll draw the pupil, which is the center of the eye. I'm gonna draw a little bigger pupil. If you draw smaller little pupils, a little black part in the middle of the eye, they kind of look less cute, I've noticed. But if you draw bigger pupils, they look cuter. Just how it works. That's why you see like puppy dog eyes, they have those big pupils in the middle or those kitty cats that are begging. That's what it is, the big eyes. So if you want to draw cute animals, you got to draw big old eyes and their big pupils in their eyes. Okay, is he looking at me yet? Maybe he's not, look at me. There we go. <laughs> Had to keep adding a little bit more pupils so he looks right at me. All right. Now we're gonna add the little shield part on top of his head. And remember, you're just following the outside of the eye, not touching the eye. And we'll go up and we'll draw a teeny tiny little mouth. And then let's do the ears. 
You got these cool leaf looking ears like that. Now, if you want to add another one, go ahead and add another one right there. I think I'm just going to stick with the amount that I have. And then I'm going to do just like a little line right there. Cool. Maybe I want to make that little point here. Perfect. Now let's go to the tail. I kind of jump all around my illustration because I'm never really sure where to go next. <laughs> I get Sometimes I even get bored when I'm drawing something that has a lot of detail. I get bored and I start jumping over to other parts that I'm not even, wasn't even thinking about working on. I just jumped over there because I wanted to work on something new. Okay, let's do the stripes on the tail. Now you'll see I'm not following exactly what my pencil is doing, but it's a nice guide to have there. That's why sketching is so important. So you have the guide, so you kind of know where things should live. Then you can do what you want with them. The little feet, oh, little cute little toes. Right there. Other foot, same thing. All I have to do is do it four times. Easier said than done, isn't it? <laughs> you have to repeat the same thing and make them look all the same. All righty, well that looks pretty close. And then we gotta do our little bands right here. So again, if you have like a ruler, if you wanna get it really straight, or if you think you have a steady enough hand, you can just do it by hand like I'm doing. Sometimes even if you're confident in your hand, it's nice to have a straight look, and that's why I use the, the ruler sometimes. So it's okay to use a ruler, that's not cheating. That's being smart and resourceful. <laughs> That's why we have tools. Feel free to use them. There we go. Okay, I'm trying to think. I might not add actually all those little things in there. Now that I'm looking, it looks a little busy and it might get too, maybe I'll do it with the color. Maybe you'll do it with the color and you'll show me what it looks like. I think I'm gonna do it without it for now. But all right, she's looking pretty good. Oh, did you know that their little nose is really good at smelling, but their eyes and their ears are terrible at doing their job. <laughs> they don't hear very well and they can't see very well, but they can smell really, really well. Now you need to take a moment and erase all of the pencil marks, all of our under sketch that we've already done so we can get this ready for color. Already I'll erase you, let's see how fast you can erase everything. Ready, set, go. Did you beat me? Uh, I kind of cheated, okay. You probably did it really fast, but I kind of cheated. That's not fair. Okay, so now we are ready for color. Armadillos come in lots of different colors. They come in like yellows and reds, and I've seen a white armadillo actually. They come in there gray. They got some cool colors, but I think I'm gonna do a blue armadillo. What color are you gonna do yours? Fine, I'll wait. You don't have to tell me now. If you don't wanna say it, you don't have to say it. But let's start coloring and we'll catch up at the end. And I think I'm finished coloring Annie the Armadillo. I like that name, Annie, that fits, that fits. How did yours turn out? Did you guys pick a name yet for your armadillo? Well, hopefully you had as much fun as I did because I had a blast doing this. And now that you're finished with your drawing, make sure you sign your name on there so everybody knows who did it. Everybody wants to know who the artist is. I've been pretty bad about remembering to do this, so I'm gonna be better about that now. So I'm gonna do a little B, W right there. Okay, well before I leave you, I always like to leave you with one more cool fact about our animal. And the armadillo has a really, really fascinating one. I had no idea that they're actually pretty good swimmers. They, but they're too heavy. <laughs> That's the problem. They got those big armor plates, so they're a little heavy and they just sink. So what they do to float and to swim is they have to suck up and go and get a lot of air in, trapped in their body. And then they can have enough buoyancy, or that means they can float up on the water and swim around. Otherwise, Sometimes they get lazy, don't have enough time to do that, and they don't, and they go to the bottom, but they can hold their breath for like six minutes, and they can just crawl on the bottom of like the lake or a pond or whatever it is, and crawl right across it. I thought that was pretty fascinating. 
But thanks again, you guys. This is always a highlight of my day. I love drawing with you. Make sure that you always remember to be brave, be creative, and most importantly, be you. All right, we'll see you guys next time.